the previous episodes, we talked about mixed meters, pulse, and different types of strokes. There is, however, one stroke that is of particular importance, the very first one. Its importance is inherent for different reasons. It sets the tone of the music, holding in itself the indications of tempo, dynamics, and articulation of the first sound the orchestra is going to play. If you're facing an orchestra for the first time, for example, because you're guesting, it's also the first physical motion that the players will experience and contributes to building that kind of trust that is essential to a good performance. Hello everyone, I'm Jamara Grillo and I welcome you to a new episode of Conducting Pills. If you're new here, this channel is all about classical music, score analysis and conducting tips and exercises. I want to thank all of my patrons for making this series possible and now let's keep going. Let's start with the tempo indication. The upbeat must be one full beat in the tempo of the music that the orchestra is going to play. Now, this might seem obvious, but there are so many examples, even of very renowned conductors, where this does not happen. For Wengler, was one of the players of the Berlin Philharmonic used to say, we count seven shakes, then we begin. Or Kusevitsky with the Boston Symphony Orchestra. We start playing when his baton has passed the third button of his vest. Now, this does not diminish the artistic qualities of these great conductors, but rather it points out a technical flaw for which the orchestra made up thanks to a long-standing rapport with their conductor. However, if you're guesting or auditioning or you're in a competition, uh, you will not have that luxury. Hence, if you're not clear, you're gonna face two possibilities. One, the orchestra does not play together. Two, the orchestra takes over. All players look at the concertmaster and ignore you completely. And I'm really not sure which one is the worst. Now, what's the solution? Aside from the golden rule mentioned earlier, if you feel insecure, you can adopt a few tricks. Think about the tempo before lifting the baton. Sing in your head the first three, four bars of the music you're about to conduct. Not enough, squeeze the baton gently between the index and the thumb in tempo. Still not enough, continue to pulse until the downbeat is delivered. Now, this one should be the very last resort, actually. Now, one word of caution. Many conductors give themselves the tempo with their foot. Now, it's fine if you keep the movement inside your shoe, but not if you tap on the podium, because the noise is annoying and it looks very unprofessional. Now, how can you practice all of this? Well, as usual, the metronome is your friend, and so is the mirror or the camera for that matter. Set the metronome to 160 and do an upbeat and a downbeat motion. Then move the metronome down gradually of 12 to 16 points per time till you reach 48. Add a click of the wrist to each pulse and stay on the same metronome marking until you feel confident and your gestures are fluid. Rinse and repeat and do the same with the left hand. Now then switch to the right hand again and change the metronome markings. Now, we've only talked about the tempo, but as mentioned at the beginning, the upbeat must include also the dynamic indication and the articulation. That's why it's important to repeat each exercise using all three parts of your arm, only with the wrist, the forearm, and the full arm. When you're using your full arm, you are calling for a forte to fortissimo sonority. The forearm is used for a mezzo piano to a forte dynamic and the wrist for a pianissimo to mezzo forte. Now, there are exceptions, of course, and an only wrist movement can also be used to deliver a fortissimo dynamic. The last component is articulation, legato or staccato. Once again, try each exercise with different strokes and variants in order to cover different types of articulation at different speeds. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button right below this video and ring the bell so that you will get notified every time a new video comes out. For more in-depth analysis, conducting technique and conducting exercises, look on my website where you can find now more than 100 videos and follow my Facebook group. And if you want to support this series, you're always welcome to do so on Patreon. All the links are in the description. Let me know in the comments what you think about this video, if you have any suggestions for future ones, and I look forward to see you in the next episode. Meanwhile, as usual, please continue to enjoy music and be well. Ciao!